You don't really know much about Halloween. Welcome to another Sinister Snacks. Wait, this isn't Dollar Store Drive-In? It is not Dollar Store Drive-In. It's not caffeinated? Coffinated? It's not caffeinated. I even said the name wrong. We are doing Sinister Snacks. It's been a hot minute. It's been. I, I was going to start off by saying hello to a cozy Sinister Snacks. Mm. I have been outside in the freezing cold. So has Mr. Newly Dead. We've been freezing. So pardon my giant hoodie blankie. She looks very comfortable, it's and so believe warm. me, it's soft and fluffy. And it's taken me hours to get warmed up, and I'm she? still... Oh, she has still got cold hands. I'm warm. I ended up layering and was not too terrible. You're smart. Uh, but I am exhausted, even though we didn't at, we weren't outside that long. Yeah. Bigger picture? We were at an event. Um, my day job is working for a local nonprofit here in the Rockford area. Um, if you know me, uh, you know where I work. <laughs> but... Uh, so we were outside, um, doing our breathing in the air. Yeah. Yeah. One of our, our events. So, um, but that actually brings me to our snack. We decided, well, they graciously, uh, are allowing us to try their popcorn. Um, and this is, we have five bags of popcorn to review. Um, this is a company, it's a local company here in the Rockford area, um, and it is actually a nonprofit. So, did I just say that? A nonprofit? You did just nonprofit? Now. Yeah. Um, it's called Life Decisions. So, um, Life Decisions, building a tribe of mentors. With every purchase, you're helping overlooked and undervalued youth get back on track, stay out of trouble, reach their God-given potential, and join a tribe of mentors bringing restoration to Rockford. Um, so they, let me, let me pull up the little blurb from, um, Life Decisions. While I open them so you can see, we have not tried these yet. Yeah. So she said they, they work primarily with at-risk justice and justice involved youth uh, ages 15 to 23. Uh, Gourmet Popcorn is part of their work program to give youth employment and internship opportunities. Mentors and youth make the popcorn together and they sell it at different community events. Uh, they also have a day home where young people can come and learn from mentors. Um, they can get life skills, how to cook, how to garden, different tu uh, uh, tutoring um, sessions. Um, their biggest need is recurring monthly donors to help with sustainable support. So I would like to start off by saying if you are interested in getting involved with Life Decisions, because this is an amazing organization, um, you can go to www.lifedecisions.net and you can look at their information. Um, they have information about their uh, gourmet popcorn, um, but it's a really cool program uh, here, at least in the Rockford, Illinois area. So, and mm -hmm. if for any reason you forget where to go, you have questions, you don't know, direct them to us. We'll direct you to the right yes. people. Yeah. If you don't get them to yourself, uh, you can also reach us at contact at the newly Yep. Uh, or through our Facebook page. We'd be happy to talk to you. Yeah. But they have tons of flavors of popcorn. And so we're going to try uh, five different ones today. So we're going to start off, it looks like, with just butter. Just butter. Now, to be 100% transparent, we don't want to hide anything. Mrs. Newly Dead has tried one of, one their, of flavors. their flavors, yes. which is not any of these. It and was they, what? Yeah, they have flavors of the week, which is really cool. And they're all labeled with different batch numbers. Oh, um, it does give a guaranteed freshness date on the back also. The one that I happened to try was baked potato. Oh, and it's also yeah. got a uh, little UPC code, which yeah, you're probably so not. The ones, face. the ones, the ones that we're trying now, <laughs> I've never tried though. She's like, so, um, uh, yeah, I'm I, excited I tried a baked potato like, one. I, I want to do like that one last, unless you have any qualms. But. Yeah. Um. So let's, cool. Let's I'm I'm down. In. I'm down. So yeah, this is gonna take us a second. 
Uh, but yeah, we are opening these for the first time. They were at they the were, event today. Yes, I was just going to say that. They were actually out there today. Um, so we were very lucky that they decided to come out and sell their popcorn. because, And I think that they sold some. So that, that makes me very happy. I don't think you opened this very good. And I don't have any nails anymore. So can you please open that? She said I didn't open it good. She's right. Anyways, so... Uh, this is live, folks. Hey, there we go. It's, it's not live. Yeah. All right. Got it. First one down. Mmm. Oh. Smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. Oh, and that was the other thing I was going to say. It's it's gourmet white popcorn, coconut oil, and dry seasonings. Oh, so right. they do have some... Um, it looks like it says may contain milk, soy, and nuts. So if you have any allergies um, to nuts or anything like that... At least it's got it's it on there. It's manufactured somewhere where there's those things potentially. It's that manufactured could... here in Rockford. No, I mean like if it's in a certain like in kitchen or right something where they do other things, process other things, they got to be. You know, yes. Transparent, so. All right. Cheers, Cheers before, before we chew. chew. And our intent is to review everything as a whole, but if for some reason we get through it and we're like, no, we have probably talk about them individually, we'll let you know. Hmm. You made a yummy noise. Yeah. Okay. Are we doing each one? I can't remember. We're doing them all. Uh, we're trying all of them, and then we're talking about them as a whole, unless otherwise dictated by. Uh, I think a you're saving bacon and cheddar for last. I see. Oh, I was trying to keep that a secret. So next, we're gonna try sea salt, sea salt, and caramel. Caramel. That smells delightful. Yeah, and it's and it's it's interesting because it's not you know it's caramel popcorn, right? It's seasoned. But it smells like it almost smells seasoned like caramel popcorn. Curlies. But yeah, let's cheers again. Oh, uh oh. Hmm. 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 That's interesting. It does. This bag actually says, handcrafted and batch process, air popped, gently tumbled with coconut oil and seasonings. Well, it seems like they cook a lot of their stuff in coconut oil. I need another bite. By the way, Shaggy has corn. come to join us. So if you see a little head over here, that's, that's Shaggy. I'm going to close it in case I want seconds. Sorry. All right, which one do you want to do next? This one or this one? The one on the left. This one? Yeah. All right. This is another one that I'm looking forward to. This one is white cheddar, which says uh, the same thing the last one said about uh, coconut oil and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. hmm, it's so weird. Like they all look identical, almost. Well, the last two look different in color, but sorry, these first three look the same in color, but they they don't smell at Cheers. all the same. Um, it tastes different, though. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not quite what I expected. Yeah. If you think cheddar, you think like, you know, you know what cheese tastes like in your head. But white cheddar. Yeah. It's almost got a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because of the caramel one. No. Yeah, maybe on your finger. But I don't think so because... I think after the second or third one, it wouldn't taste exactly the same. I think you'd kind of get the caramel out of your mouth, and then you'd get the other flavor. And I still got it. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that. I'm just it's it's Dog interesting. came up. Yeah, that's Shaggy. He's he's wearing his. Uh, you can kind of see his face right here. Skeleton sweater. He's cold too. <laughs> Sniffins. All right. So now we've got Blazing Buffalo Ranch. Blazing Buffalo Ranch. Oh, that one I can smell. And this one is a different color from the other ones. It's got a little bit of redness to it's it. It's got blazing it's, sauce on it. But it's still got the same, like, cook, cooking stuff. The only one that was different was the butter, just butter one or whatever. Uh, like, just just butter, is that right? I don't want to get it wrong. No, just butter. Oh. Got a kick to it. I already got a little bit of kick. Mm-hmm. It's blazing. overly done no hmm. but if any of you have ever watched the show and seen us uh, try snacks will know that I am not a spicy guy 
but it's not it's not like crazy overpowering yeah like it's it's still a subtle burn there but it's not Mm -mm. it's not anything tolerable yeah like so if you're like i don't want to eat anything that it could potentially be hot at all it's not that bad Mm -mm. yeah i'm trying to think of what to equate it with maybe like a tamed jalapeno kind of flavor yes where you get a little heat. This is the one you're excited about, though. This is the one I'm most curious about. Cause bacon and cheddar. You can mess up uh, bacon flavor. Because um, fake bacon is very obviously mm. fake bacon. Fake and... What she said. Uh, so, I'm a little bit curious. Because I've been looking for a good, you know, fake bacon flavored something. And who doesn't like cheese? But what's interesting is I wouldn't eat a bacon and cheese bacon sandwich unless it's like a bacon cheeseburger. But like cheese and bacon by itself, I wouldn't I wouldn't do. Yeah. So it's an interesting combination. Hi, Shaggy. He just wants to cuddle. I don't know. Is either that or he smells he's the like, popcorn? He's like I smelled the bacon. Oh. He might smell the bacon. He was also kind of hanging off the couch a little bit. I went in for seconds. So did I. All right. This one's your favorite. Hmm. I thought she might ask that, and I'm thinking, even though I'm taking a third bite here, I think my favorite might be the white cheddar. Hmm. Followed by maybe the bacon and cheddar, and then the butter. Maybe. Yeah, they've been kind of weirdly cuddly today. The two we have two dogs. Uh, but if you've seen us before, you know this. Anyway, <laughs> what about you? I like the bacon. And? Uh, and then followed by the uh, caramel. Oh. Yeah. I like that one. Those I are just... my two favorite. I really liked the baked potato one that I had the other day. Sorry, I ate it without you. I can you that over there? Pretty please and thank you. Um, yeah. I would say that this is a really interesting, very um, important Nonprofit that we have started here in the Rockford area. And we know all about popcorn and um, charity since we've worked with the Kiwanis before. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know now how to cook kettle corn. Yeah. So it's a nice little synergy between the two. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can appreciate what they're doing here. Um, and this is where it gets a little tricky because if the product isn't good, do you say something? Because it's, an, it's a, you know, a good organization. But we don't have to worry about that. I yeah. think. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna say. No, but. I think it's. I think it's just as good as any store bought popcorn that I'm you impressed. get. I'm impressed. Yeah. Um. But you know, even more flavorful. I like the flavor profiles that they've got. Um. I also feel like uh, it's really neat because they are constantly doing different flavors. So they have yeah. flavor of the week. So depending on where they're selling it at, um, I think you can maybe buy it on their website. Don't quote me, but you can, again, look at lifedecisions.net and uh, check it out. But um, The other thing with, with pre-bought popcorn is that, or pre pop popcorn, is that it has a tendency to either have a stale flavor or to be lacking in flavor. Right. Um, but this doesn't have that problem. I don't mm-hmm. know if it's how they package it, uh, but yeah. it doesn't. I- I, I found a, a lot of times things that are popped in uh, coconut oil also have a little bit better of like a richer flavor to it um, and texture kind of. I, I just like the mouthfeel of coconut oil. That's just me. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so. Yeah. I would say on a scale of one to ten. I was going to say it's ten because the movie reviews are five. Yeah. So that's yeah. It, and it's been a while. Um, I almost forgot. Yeah. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. uh Seven and a half. Oh, see, mm-hmm. I was gonna go seven. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty fickle about my popcorn, and I would eat. I mean, I'd eat probably any one of these. Yeah, I mean, I, I think not because of the. Heat I think thing, fresh but... popped popcorn, right, would be like a ten. That's your like your, your yeah, watermark. Yeah, like, like this is movie where theater you're going popcorn for. would be like a ten. Like a fresh, hot movie popcorn. theater. Like that's your that's your in my bucket everything. in my face. That's the yeah, so, it's like the top top echelon i think it's fair yeah uh, so seven and a half is great 
Um, again, this is a wonderful organization uh, designed for people that I feel like are definitely an underserved population. There is a ton of stuff for kids out there, um, but not as much for teens and young adults. So I think the really important thing is um, the fact that they go up to 23 because they're, you know, you, you get over a certain age, you're 18 years old, and then you're like, I'm an adult. Yeah, so... That's not always the case, you know. Yeah. Um, you don't really become an adult until you get your adult brain, they say, um, which is, you know, sometimes... I just got mine in the mail like five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It took a long time. Yeah. I had to pay extra shipping. Yeah. I'm looking over here while he's telling his funny jokes because it is really rare that our dogs are cuddly. and It's been twice today that they've been cuddly. Yeah. So that tells you something. And Shaggy's kind of doing... He does like a... It sounds like a low dog's growl, purr. but it's a purr. Yeah, dog's yeah. purr. And he's doing that while he puts his little face on the other dog. <laughs> it's so We've precious. We've been waiting for that moment for so over a year now. So. Yeah. Anyway. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. We are sorry for the long video, but we thought it was important to get all of their product in... Uh, in one video and to get their message out. So, uh, again, if you're interested in becoming involved lifedecisions.net yeah and uh thank you for watching <laughs> right and we'll see you later that's it bye i don't know what uh, to do with my I hands i don't even know where my thingy is there we go